During the man's arrest, one officer asks Michael Luna to step back. Why am I here? Your back, sir. I'm recording you, man. Sir, step oh, back! Oh, back that way. You I'm, in, I'm within the distance. I'm within the distance. Michael, you know I'm within the distance. You, you guys got it under control. Don't even start. Why are you guys doing this to me? Why are you guys all after me? What did I do? Yeah, but you guys came at me with guns drawn. Like I did something wrong. Like I was like beating shit out of somebody. What did I do? The alleged offense was that he swung a plastic wiffle ball bat at people walking nearby. And as the deputies took the man into custody, Michael, his daughter, and multiple other people on scene recorded the rest of the interaction. Nearly five minutes pass, and the onlookers continue to record from the public parking lot. Michael begins to walk away from the scene, stopping to film the inside of one of the patrol vehicles. <laughs> Are you me? taking pictures of our car? No. Hey, let I'm the first no. You're you guys, you're taking you guys, pictures you guys, of our car. Hey, 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 hey. Hold on. 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 I might you want to hear it. Okay, let us figure out what's going on. Yeah. The violent arrest, ordered at the whims of Deputy Carlos, left Michael with massive contusions and abrasions, all for recording through a window from a public place. A legal and constitutionally protected activity, as there is no privacy in a public space, and the plain view doctrine works both ways. If the officer's computer is displaying sensitive information, it is the officer's responsibility to create the privacy. After Michael was taken into custody, the officers huddle to try to figure out what to charge him with. It was a dumb lady yeah. with the green hat. She turned around and just said, arrest yeah. him! And then all their minions went over. I thought I wasn't sure if it was the Asian that yelled it, but then I saw the other girl with the hat on yeah, start to bum one. rush with everybody else. Right now they're trying to lie. Yeah. They could try all they want. That was on camera. She's trying to explain herself. Mm -hmm. All I heard is, did you just take pictures of my car? And then I seen everybody turn around and bum rush him. They then take statements from Michael's family members. Having so many like family members and friends that are in the sheriff department, like right. to be handled and treated like that is just really, really unacceptable in any professional manner. That's why personally, I don't, I, that's just, I don't understand that. Okay, yeah. Where you at? Give me one second, I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. And only then, after everything had settled, they put up crime scene tape, prohibiting the family from taking their vehicle and leaving. Yeah, he walked by the car and he looked in with his camera and they got upset by that. That's when I pulled my phone out. I know, we all do. Our car's over there. They said we can't touch this stuff. To make matters worse, they then release the homeless man. Now they're gonna release the guy. Let's see. The one that he got in trouble for anyways. We recorded it for you. That's she just said she apologized to you? They don't, they don't. That's not what usually happens. They usually don't do that. It's just the situation. Mm -hmm. What's her name and badge number? I don't know her badge number, but it's Deputy Carlos. Deputy Carlos? Uh, if you want, you can. Zero eight five five. Mine is Deputy Gomez, 628014. And okay. they'll be on the police report. Michael was taken to a hospital, but was denied sufficient treatment for the excessive force, after which he was taken to the sheriff's station and was charged with obstructing a police officer. He was finally released five hours later after being interrogated by a watch commander and a detective. He then transported himself to another hospital. Michael held on to this footage because the charges are so ridiculous he expected that they would be dropped the moment any prosecutor or supervisor looked at the videos, but his charges remain and his arraignment date is on February 28th, 2023. I've linked below his GoFundMe as he is still looking for an attorney to take the case. Michael tells me he will plead not guilty and as all of you know, he will be moving forward with civil action against Deputy Carlos, Deputy Betrez, and the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department for violating his civil rights and extending their power beyond the constitutional limitations to their authority. We see videos like this almost daily and
and for some reason, law enforcement officers across the country still haven't figured out that recording is not only legal, it is a constitutionally protected activity. Michael recently appeared for an interview on the Junkyard News. I heard something pop in my shoulder. Yeah. You, know, he, you know how they do it. They, they have to run. I'm an old guy, fat. But yeah, you know, so he, he did it and he popped it. It popped. And even in the video, you hear, you know, me telling him, you pop, you know, my shoulder popped. And um, so it was an injury I didn't have. And, it, you know, and then it was, you know, attached to where, you know, I had the pain over here. And um, so he, ex he exasperated your injury, if that's the correct if that's the well, word. I didn't have a sprained shoulder. So he did that. Oh, he did the uh, sprained shoulder. When I was in the, in the hospital, I kept saying, can you please take the, the cuffs off? I, I'm cuffed over here. I'm, what am I going to run with the gurney? You know, they had me strapped. My feet were strapped. So I wasn't going to go anywhere. Just the, the pain was excruciating. She's the one who caused everything. You know, because of her, I was injured. You know, this lady needs to be off the force. This lady definitely needs to be off the force. And the other guy that just, you know, because there are tons of the deputies there. You know, why do you need so many people? You know? If you'd like to hear more of his story, check the pinned 